Hey everybody, um, so today we're going to be t taking a look at areas and distances, and they kind of relate to each other, so we're going to be doing a little bit of each. Um, so this problem says, find the distance between the two points. So we're just dealing with a basic number line. When we get into class, we're going to do a little bit more complicated ones, but how do you find the distance between those two points? We do it by taking the difference between them. So um, you always want to do the larger minus the smaller unless you want to do something like an absolute value. But when we talk about distance, it's always going to be a positive value. So we're going to take the largest value, so 9.86, and we're going to subtract that from the small value, which is 5.5. And when I do that, 9.86 minus 5.5 is 4.36. And so, again, if we were to measure the distance between those, if we had a ruler or something like that, um, that distance is 4.36. We don't have a unit here. If this was in inches, that would be something different. We could write a unit, but um, since we just have numeric values, it is going to be 4.36. All right, so this next one gives us a rectangle, and it tells us to find the height of the figure. Um, it gives us an area of 34.7, and it tells us the base, the value of the base is 6.96. Remember that the area of a rectangle is equal to the base times the height. So when I look at that, what would my area be? It would be 34.7, and that's equal to, what is my base? We just said that was 6.96, and then I'm not going to use the x value. We'll use a dot here to indicate multiplication. And then the height is, we don't know, so let's call that, let's just leave the h there. Now I'm trying to get this x by itself. We did linear equations a couple weeks ago, so how do I get the h by itself? I'm going to divide by 6.96. Do the same thing over here, 6.96. And 34.7 divided by 6.96 is 4.9856. Let's just round to... Um, Let's round this to two decimals, so 4.99 is our height. Okay, so you just plug the values in and get the h by itself. And the last one we're going to look at today, it says given the two points below, sorry, I'm going to need to zoom out here. Given the two points below, construct a rectangle with area of one and then find the height of the rectangle. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to create a rectangle. Again, I don't have a ruler, so it's not going to look like the best in the world, but I'll do my best. And we know we want the area to be equal to 1, all this space in here. So how do we then go find what the height would be? Well, first thing we need to do is we need to find what the value of this base is right here. And this goes back to what we did in the first problem, which is we're going to find the distance between these two points. So to find the base value, that's equal to, we're going to take our big number, which is 8.58, and we're going to subtract that from 2.4. 8.58 minus 2.4 is 6.18. So our base value is equal to 6.18. Now, again, I think we're going to use a little bit of what we learned in the last problem. We know that this base value, let me uh, erase what I have here. So we know this is... 6.18 across, that's this right here. We don't know this height, that's what we're looking for, but we do know the area is 1. So remember, area of the rectangle is equal to base times height. We know the base is, we know the area is 1. We know the base is 6.18. And this is times. We don't know the height, so now we're going to do the same thing we did in the previous problem and divide both sides by 6.18 and divide this side by 6.18. We're probably not going to get a nice number here, but 1 divided by 6.18 is... I'm going to round this four places. So it's going to be, we got 0.1618. Is equal to h, and we are able to find that the height of this is 0 0.1618. Again, 
kind of you need to ignore the axis on the side because those numbers don't line up. But this height would be 0 0.1618.